Are you thinking about buying a home in the Spokane area? And maybe you're curious what Liberty Lake specifically has to offer. Maybe you're wondering if it would be convenient for you, especially if you have to drive downtown or to the airport often. And maybe you're wondering if there's anything to do in Liberty Lake. Well, if you're having those questions, this video is for you. I'll be bringing you around Google Maps and showing you everything you need to know about Liberty Lake so that if you are thinking about moving there, this will give you all the information you need. If you are thinking about moving to Liberty Lake, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. What questions do you have? And hit the like button for me so that this video can get pushed out to more people moving to Spokane just like yourself. I've created this channel and this community to help relocators just like you. And if you have any specific questions or want to schedule a Spokane discovery call, there's a link down below that allows you to schedule a time directly on my calendar at a time that's convenient for you. So taking a look at the map, Liberty Lake is situated on both sides of Interstate 90 that runs east and west and is the main way of traveling west to downtown Spokane, or you can take it all the way to Seattle if you want to, and you can take it east over to Idaho and all the way to Chicago. If you wanted to head north or south, you would still have to jump on I-90 to hit 195 to go down to Pullman, Highway 2 to go to north to Deer Park, Highway 27 is another way to head south on the Palouse and will take you to the Pullman area as well or Highway 95 over in Idaho will take you north to Sand Sandpoint or south to Moscow, depending on where you're heading. So let's see what Google says. Liberty Lake to Spokane, to give you an idea if you're gonna be commuting to an office downtown, is about 20 minutes, but in the rush hour times, westbound I-90, the side of I-90 that you would be driving on, can get pretty backed up because you have everyone from Idaho, Liberty Lake, and the Spokane Valley all commuting west to go to work. And then the same thing happens in the evening during rush hour as well. Eastbound I-90 becomes pretty backed up. And so I would say if you are going to be commuting during these rush hour times, I would give yourself at least an extra 10 minutes. So you could be looking at around a 30 minute commute if that's where you need to be going every day, which I know this is becoming more and more of a non-issue as people are working more remotely. And often if you're coming from Seattle or California, you probably don't think that that's a big deal at all. But here in Spokane, a 30 minute commute would be considered pretty long. If you're going to be traveling to the airport regularly for travel or work, then you are about a 25 minute drive to the airport. But what's awesome is it's basically a straight shot down I-90. The airport is right off the exit. So traveling to the airport from Liberty Lake is extremely easy. So let's zoom in here and see what's going on around Liberty Lake. So as the name states, there is a lake actually called Liberty Lake. So you're very close to that and have easy access to that lake if you live in the area. And what the Liberty Lake boundary map doesn't show is that there are actually tons of residential properties all along the lake. Many can be very high end, but some of the secondary lot homes are pretty normal 2000 square foot 1970 built homes that you can purchase for under $500,000. So if you're not too concerned about living directly on the water, but just want to be close and have the benefits of the lake, there's actually a pretty affordable community right there. You also have three golf courses within the city limits of Liberty Lake. They really crammed them in there. Trailhead is a nine hole course and is a good practice course or one to bring beginner players to because the holes are pretty short and it's relatively flat as well. But you also have the Liberty Lake Golf Course and Meadowwood Golf Course. So it is a big golfing community in the Liberty Lake area and many of the gated communities are surrounding the golf courses and it is actually legal in Liberty Lake to drive your golf cart on some of the streets. And so it has much more of like an Arizona type feel in the summer. And in terms of getting outdoors, Liberty Lake is close to a handful of really nice hiking and camping areas. The Salt Tees Uplands are a relatively easy place to hike, but with a lot of trails, so you can take a different, uh, different route every time you go. And the Liberty Lake Regional Park is about 3,600 acres of forests and wetlands that you can go hiking in. And there's a very popular eight and a half mile loop trail that through it, that's not too difficult. And you get to see a lot of the park. There's camping, ORV parks as well. And so it's just an awesome place. That's really just a stone's throw away from Liberty Lake. Other than that, there isn't a whole ton going on at Liberty Lake, but it is rapidly expanding. I'm going to switch over to the satellite view to show you a little more detail. So you can see right here along I-90, there's a lot of commercial properties. You do have a Home Depot there. So for any home renovations, you won't have to go too far for that. But if you need things like Costco, you'll have to drive into the Spokane Valley about 12 minutes or so to get there. Uh, you can see Huntwood Cabins pop up here on the map. They were featured in my one of my recent videos as one of the top employers in Spokane. So they bring in a lot of people from other parts of Spokane for work each day. But the biggest thing I wanted to show you is how much Liberty Lake is expanding. You can see right by the golf courses that it's already really built up. But if you look to the west of that, just south of Home Depot, there are large areas of land that are being developed right there. And if you go north of the freeway, you see a lot of vacant land in between Orchard Park and Harvard Road Trailhead. And all of that will be becoming housing over the next few years. So now let's check out what food there is in Liberty Lake. 
you have most of your chain restaurants like McDonald's, Carl's Jr., Starbucks, Taco Bell, Papa Murphy's, but there are some great local places as well. Starting up by Orchard Park, they've built a little corner in the middle of the neighborhood um, for a few different restaurants. They have Annie's Ice Cream, which is absolutely amazing. And I would go into detail about what is amazing at each of these places, but that's for another video, or you'll just have to visit and try them out. Um, next door to Annie's is Hello Sugar, an extremely popular mini donut shop here in Spokane. And then they have Versalia Pizza, which is like a stone fire pizza place that is top notch. And then just jumping around a little bit, other places are Three Ninjas, which is like a fusion taco place. There's a couple Mexican restaurants, a couple Japanese restaurants. And they also have Trail Breaker Brewing, which is a really cool spot to hang out. The brewery itself is really nice, but they have some outdoor spaces to hang out in the summer. So there's really something for everyone. I wouldn't say that Liberty Lake is really missing anything, but it's also really convenient to have a date night in Coeur d'Alene or in downtown Spokane where you can be exposed to dozens of amazing, amazing restaurants. And so I think people moving from out of the area sometimes are worried about the food. So, and I think we really have a booming food scene in here, here in Spokane and you won't be disappointed. And in terms of housing, there are a handful of different price points in Liberty Lake. You can find a one bed, one bath condo around 250,000. And you can also find the most expensive homes in all of Spokane up on Legacy Ridge around 1.5 to $2 million. The north side of the highway by Orchard Park and everything that is being built up around there are more of your standard residential homes. And those go from mid 500,000s to about 800,000 uh, at the very top. And when you're looking at the map in the area that's south of Home Depot, all of those winding roads are working up the hill right there to the, all the high-end homes and that's what we call legacy ridge and if you're looking for new construction and you want to know what builders are in the area uh, the developer on the north side of the freeway is greenstone and then dr horton has two communities on legacy ridge they have the ascend community and they have the cottages community but many neighborhoods in liberty lake are gated communities incredibly clean and well maintained and are really attractive for people moving from out of the area because they kind of just know what they're to expect they know what they're getting and so they're definitely more high-end neighborhoods in spokane it's not for everybody at every price point but for those that are looking for just a good friendly community to live in then liberty lake is often a good choice there are a lot of opportunities in the market right now um, i just helped a family this past weekend negotiate over twenty-five thousand dollars in closing costs in the liberty lake area so now is an amazing time to take advantage of some of the deals that can be found out there if this video was helpful please like and subscribe if you haven't already let me know what your favorite part of Liberty Lake is. And if you're moving to Spokane, use the link in the description to schedule a meeting on my calendar at a time that's convenient for you. See you in the next video.